Guess who's back, motherfucker? Hello and welcome to Mike Masher TV and Film Talk, episode. What's that one? I have no idea, it's been such episode a long six. break. Episode 6, yeah, that's right, episode six. it's been <laughs> such a long time. It's been you a said, while. You said episode 6, like it was Star Wars episode 6. <laughs> like episode 6, <laughs> Mike Masher. Return yeah. of the Mike Masher. Return of the Mike Masher. But yeah, it's oh, been a while. Uh, we've missed you people. It's been a long uh, time. We hope that you've missed us. Yeah, man. We're not holding our breath on that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can hold my breath a long if time. You can't man, say you know. otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't even missing us at all. You got me crap. <laughs> but uh, we're back. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. It's fine. We do this for the very small amount of people that actually listen to our podcast. Yeah. And if by the time, uh, I don't know, in a few years' time, people listen to this and um, we have grown. Then awesome! Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you! Uh, Alright, anyway, get to the point. Um, to well, the before point we get to uh, the main topic, which we will introduce in a moment, uh, there was some sad news that we had the other day. Indeed. Um, <laughs> one of the best actors, Christopher Lee, passed away on the 7th of June. Christopher Lee, of course, is the great Sarah Man from Lord of the Rings trilogy. Count Dooku from, yeah. From the awful prequels, but yeah, we won't hold that against him. We won't because he's just that awesome. Though actually, I like the prequels. He was actually one of the one of the better aspects of the prequels. Yeah, he was a really good actor. Yeah. And of course he was one of the original Draculas as well. So, yes, he's yeah. like the Which is why he's called Count, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. But before, you know, um the sparkly ones kinda messed up for that whole image. Yeah, uh, yeah, vampires. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, none of that's out of the way. By the way, who are we again? I forgot. Why not some introduction? Oh, right. Um, yeah. I am... Um, oh, bloody hell, it's been a while. <laughs> you forgot who you are. It's been a while. Identity crisis. Uh, yeah, that's a weird intro. Okay, this is a weird intro. But, Best intro ever. Okay, I am uh, Munchkin T, and I have here with me uh, Loud Mouth J. You know me. And, of course, the epic... Wilson! <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Loving that. Uh, yeah. Three months of overhearing that. <laughs> <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, bring it on. Okay, keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. We're, we're going to be talking about our main topic today. And we're going to keep this relatively uh, more short than normal, which is Jurassic World. Which we just went a few hours ago to see in um, IMAX. BFI IMAX, first screening. Say. So one of the first time I've ever been to the BF, BFI Max. Yep. Quite quite impressed with it. Yeah. Very impressed. Quite immersive. Like, if you're gonna see anything for the first time, then <laughs> then um. He, he, he like he, he the went IMAX. there for a while, didn't he? You, you yeah. should just write a commercial. Okay. This. I was like, I it was okay. Yeah, it was great. Uh, yeah. 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 It's yeah. It's great. Good, it was a good. It was a good experience. I've never been to it before. So. Three D glasses. Yeah. yeah, it was neat. It was it was good. I, I thought, well, you might as well go see Jurassic World in IMAX. Might as well actually feel like there's a f- off big dinosaur in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's got to be Jurassic World. Mm. Like, of course, you got to go for the beef IMAX, really. Mm. I, for me, it's my main cinema, so I mm. would. Cough, cough, like, yeah. cough. Let's pull out the um, the BMI plug. <laughs> we're we're, we're, we're going to stop about that. <laughs> okay, it's a great film. Great cinema. Film. All right, yeah, let's talk about the film. The film. Um, what were you guys' thoughts? It wasn't that bad. I actually quite liked it. Um, just because in terms of the entire um, Jurassic World, I feel like I met one linear I've only really seen the first one properly. Yeah. Couldn't be bothered to watch the second. And um, yeah, mainly because I read the reviews for the second, so I was like, no, thank you. And the third was oh. just, no, thank were you. Were the reviews bad for the second one? I don't remember. I always have quite fond memories of the second one. I like the second one. I yeah. felt like it, it was, was so Jurassic Park trying, trying to be Godzilla on a really small scale. Yeah. yeah. Because they released a T Rex in mm. San Francisco or something like that, mm. isn't it? Yeah, it was for like, that reason I was like, no. Nah. And it just doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make any sense because it's just no. you can't take Jurassic the Jurassic Park or Jurassic World seriously. You can't and that's the whole point of the film. It's outlandish as hell to think that 
we'd create dinosaurs and put them in a theme park. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. That's the premise of all the movies, essentially, apart from the lot, the second two, where it is, it's just a carnage after the theme park. Yeah, pretty That's much. That's all they are. Mind you, though, this one did seem like more realistic in the outlandishness that if we were actually to try and make dinosaurs, we would f*** up and try and well, we have make... complexes. Yeah, we'd make a mega... Yeah. We'd make a megasaur, which is um, the Indominus Rex. Oh, by the way, before we start getting really into this, if you haven't already realised, major spoilers ahead. This is a spoiler alert. Alert. alert <laughs> major alert, spoilers. Alert, alert. Plot points. Characters. Ending. Split mm. review. That wasn't a sound effect. That was literally Loudmouth J doing his thing. Cough, cough. I'm that also. Yeah. But yeah, onto the actual film now. Not the, not going back to The Lost World. Yeah. Jurassic World. It's a world. Good film. It was a good film. Good film. Good, good for what it was. Give it. I. I'm. I'm already gonna give a rating right now. Yeah, go ahead. Probably. I'll give it a solid eight. Yeah. I mean, it was good. It's a good film. It wasn't mind blowing. It was very grounded in what it was. It was fun. Mm-hmm. It was fun. It was grounded mm-hmm. in what it was. I saw the trailer for it yesterday, like the new final trailer that they released, yeah. and I went into it thinking, "Oh my god, I'm gonna be terrified," because they made it like really. <laughs> scared like made it look like a horror movie like the way that they were marketing it with like really dark visuals and yeah and it had its scary moments but there wasn't really apart from i think maybe one or two moments where i didn't see something coming Hmm. it was all pretty much like obvious what was going to happen i I felt it was a nice kind of scary it wasn't i thought from for a moment maybe they would uh they'd go cheap on it and just do a bunch of jump scares but they didn't and it was li- it was the dinosaur itself, the um, what was it called? The Indominus Rex. The Indominus Rex. I thought that it by itself was just scary in what it could do and what it di- and what it does in the film. Yeah. So rather than them just doing a bunch of jump scares, which like I think maybe every now and again you get like light jump scares, but everything was. Just... Oh, the only thing that really made me really jump was at one point in the film where they're getting f-ed up by the T Rex, well, not T Rexes, the Raptors, and the guy. Bangs on the door. With oh yeah, yeah, hands. you guys jumped. That, 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 was, that, was only, that wasn't the one that scared me. It was the one where um, as um, Claire's driving away in the truck, with, and then the um, raptor just with Zach and um, oh the raptor jumps through the yeah, window. Yeah, through the window. That that I actually like did like the whole. Like, yeah. I did the black guy in the cinema. I was like, oh, like the like, oh, oh my, because he lit, it was it was the spear. It was the spit <laughs> out of nowhere, and it wasn't it wasn't, it wasn't just that one. It was when um what was his name ah uh, the um the owner of the the owner of the park uh rich Indian man rich Indian man um um Masrani yeah is that we can't call him that what his uh, name is Masrani all right yeah, yeah that, that's his name I'm just name. I'm just thinking of rich Indian man <laughs> <laughs> yeah rich, the rich Indian basically, man basically basically his whole entire subplot might as well be I can pilot a helicopter I liked him I liked him as a character because he was. Cause like yeah, he was the owner of the park, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he well, was. he had inherited yeah. all the the licensing from Hammond. Yeah, but yeah. he he had he character, you know. He had there was yeah. human behind him. There was he was yeah. he was a fun character for a while. For the, was, for the good twenty minutes he was in the film. He was around for a while. Obligatorily he killed him. He was around for a while, but even then it was like when he when he was killed off, it was so anticlimactic. It was just like because he was in he's in the helicopter. I thought for sure he would survive. I it, 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 see, I, it, it seemed it, like yeah, it seemed, he was, it seemed like way, but even then like, if he survived I would like that's some ball that, yeah. that's some ball yeah. that's and a then, big steamy yeah. piece of ball because the two army guys that were in a heli- helicopter with him one gets flung out over the one turret speared weird. out of nowhere <laughs> off the top <laughs> rope out of nowhere he's like this is actually old like it was that cause like stab okay you're dead now there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of window uh, attacks yeah. <laughs> yeah there was there was, there was a, a lot, lot of glass crashing uh, through the, the um, I'm going to try and not call it the Andromedus <laughs> just so call it the Raptor Rex the, the that's Raptor Rex was. which the we Raptor eventually found it. it was half Raptor half Rex with a little it bit wasn't of, half anything with a little it bit was of, a bunch of with a bit of frog fish. and puffer fish thrown in there puffer fish yeah tree frog tree frog when it tried to and T-Rex yeah, it tries to smash with the ball with his claw, and then it's kind of like... Succeeded. Yeah, yeah well, it does it with his claw. That's it wasn't a try. Uh, and then there's loads of, yeah. They love that. That bit was... Ex- I thought that bit was exceptionally well done. <sighs> that had me scared. Because, you know what? The best... I find that when it comes to, like, action films or... In mo- pretty much any film is... You you can tell when something's really well done when you, you're sitting there thinking to yourself, how are they going to get out of this? Mm, like, when you're yeah, just... Yeah. like. 
this is, seems like a dead end. This is just where does this go from here? Even then, like the way they revealed him in the scene with the two with Gray and Zach, the way they introduced him in the scene, it wasn't like that generic. Look behind you, it's like there's five dinosaurs there. No, there's only four. No, there's five, and you see the reflection with him. It's like, yeah, yeah, you know, oh, oh yeah. shit. There's gonna be the slow turn. Okay, now it's the slow turn. Mm. No, no, I like the oh. idea they could have also made the the main dinosaur, the the Raptorosaurus, or <laughs> the Indominus Rex, Indominus Rex, Indominus Rex. Rex. Raptorosaurus Rex. Raptorosaurus. They could have made him. Could just call it the hybrid. They could have made him okay, the, the most, Toyota Rex. The Toyota Rex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they they could have made him the most OP guy in the world, but at one point, even a herbivore tries to defend itself and for a short though short amount of time oh the Ankyna yeah tries to fight it off and it, it could have been that it was just rolling around full on just mur- it did murk a lot of things inside yeah for but sport it, but for sport but they were all defenceless animals that did, didn't really stand a chance mm. but then getting onto the spoiler of the whole how it ends the ending proved that it may be the massive um predatorial thing but teamwork and, and like three other and massive whale dinosaur massive predators oh, um, the mosasaur yeah they can all take it down they could have made this thing like have impenetrable skin yeah. whatever they could have had anything because mm. it, it, it didn't seem it. like that the way that but, they yeah. really like showed well, up but like, it seemed to do f- all against it like yeah. I don't know what it is about Jurassic World dinosaurs or Jurassic Park dinosaurs at all but let's do f- all um, I just want to like there's a lot of swearing in this episode it's <laughs> like do, a lot they do <laughs> nothing well, with their dinosaurs the rules don't count anymore they, they do they, nothing they, yeah that just they goes shoot, to they try and shoot it with a turret gun and it like whoever's shooting can't aim it just yeah. seems to be like well not even it that there was the like bit it, where it was going after friggin Liu Kang right and <laughs> and he was he he did he shoot it a few times first? Which they, no, because they had no, no, it wasn't. It wasn't Luke Kang that shot him. It was the guy at the end with the grenade launcher, and he basically was just pinging off his nose. Yeah, that was, it was it. like ping pan. And I'm like, why are you still? You know what? You got testicles. So you're still shooting <laughs> as he can see you, and is walking to what? Not even walk, like the guy just chopped four of your dudes and stepped on a fifth. Why are you okay? Cool. You know what? Like, cool. And it, it pour, kinda, pour, pour, pour some kind of liquor for him because you know he went yeah. on the G. It kind of felt like Chris Pratt's character was there to be a badass at times, but he wasn't OP. Mm. He wasn't like doing stuff that was super. De- he super was a realistic fit. badass. He was a realistic badass, but he was also there just to be like, "You guys are fucking stupid. Like, yeah. how do you not realize that you're going after this new species of dinosaur? You have no idea what it's what it's capable of with non-lethal weapons." Yes, yeah, that that was one thing that yeah. fucked the hell out of me. Like. That just seems to be no, because it was all about them trying to preserve I, I know, their money like, making. That, that in general, like when they when, when they have some kinds of, like monster movies where you make something that you can no longer control and has killed people already, do not try and capture him, kill it. You you know what I you know what I felt like I felt like I was that voice in, in the character Owen's head because. I'm just like he what was he he was saying just constantly he was saying evacuate the island like from early he's like yeah. evacuate the island get people off the island and everyone's just telling him no no massive. we're gonna do something else and I'm just thinking when is he gonna flip out and just go are you all idiots yeah, just evacuate the island it seemed after a while he just left like you know what screw you guys and went to the tell the actual yeah. people like you know what maybe you should start trying to just, get out yeah, like, even when he started like you could feel his frustration when they started messing with his raptors yeah it's like man they just they won't give him a break it's like he gave 10 listen guys it's so obvious what you need to do here and they were just like no no we're gonna do this a couple of people just need that snap out of it slap because it just seemed that well he punched that guy yeah yeah <laughs> he, he punched like I don't he punched an Ophrio in the face. Kingpin from Dead Yeah, yeah, face. Kingpin, yeah. He, he, it, it, it was just so weird seeing him and that and then seeing him so cool and American and we're going to get Raptors to win the war, America. Like, that, <laughs> that, just, you know, that just seemed weird. Yeah. But it was just that, in general, it, like, what was it? Mas- when Maserani was like, we have, like, fail, fail safes to make sure in, in case this kind of thing happens, we can keep people in the island safe. Yeah, that's when, like, a normal kind of, like, dinosaur runs loose. When a dinosaur sets a trap, hmm, Mm. and it was a good trap not like oh we can clearly see that that, that, that that's was a brilliant trap I'm not sure I would f- figure out that trap if I yeah. was if I was in prison <laughs> that's that's, that, that, that was trap. one of the scariest traps ever not to mention it had a trap with cloaking and like t- 
temperature, like, like yeah. anti temperature detection, like, uh, uh, it was, it was brilliant. How do you act calm with that? Yeah, let's just like go people to the south of the island. No, you know what? I was thinking, like, how are they really going to take this thing down? And at first, I thought, like, I think it was kind of beta, they were just going to release a T Rex on it later on. Um, but the thing is, like, people were saying when they were watching trailers, the whole raptor thing with the the, the biker bros, biker raptor bros thing. Yeah. You'll right? say, oh, it's just really corny, uh, this is stupid. Well, but then, and then they just completely shut everyone up. Yeah. When the raptors start, started working with the Andromedas. Yeah. And Spe- it, speaking of corny though, black guy lived. Get to there. <laughs> Get to there. Spe- speaking for the black guy for the first film, Black guy lived. How many black guys were in this film? Was he the only one? Yes, and he was a smart black guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, he was working with the um, the main character. He was uh, like, he was working with the Raptors, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. He was on the trainers. Well, mm. the weird thing was kind of like that's kind of like but but he's well, we should really know his name. But the black guy, I mean, I've probably had his name said like once. Mm. Um, his name was Barry. Yeah, Barry. of course. Even though he that, sounded, he, that, the guy sounded so African, but yeah. you know what? His name's yeah, Barry. Yeah, it's not, I don't know, he, maybe he's African-American Barry. He's working with Dr. So much. That's why his Christian name. He's running his Bible to the most white guy Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. <laughs> you could have offended a few people with that one. Yeah. Let's just note, Jerome's black, so he's okay. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay if he says yeah. it. What's it? <laughs> Lama of J-Fruits. What's it? Um, the whole thing was that they so just made it that uh, Chris Pratt's character was essentially, oh, I am the controller of raptors. I I only control raptors. When the the black guy was also at points being like, Tintinofrio's had... character, being like, hey, don't be an idiot. Mm. Yeah. They don't. They can tell that you're being an asshole to them. Mm. They're gonna get back at you for it. No, you know, and like, did he not make a connection with any of them? But, but they were gonna full on just murder him. But then like. But then gets the I think, you know, I think what it is is they have different roles there. Uh, Chris, Chris, um, Chris Pratt's character Owen, he, he trains them, right? which was a good thing as well. He, he established that they don't control them; it's a mutual yeah. respect. Yeah, it's they just understand each other. So it's almost like they just they're just friends when they meet them. They're, there's trust there. They're co-workers. Who would say friends? Mm. They're co-workers. I don't know. I would say they're friends. Well, they tried to kill each other at one point. Yeah, yeah at one point. Co-workers. Uh, but yeah, it built it built up to a nice a nice little uh, like the I, I like the the connection uh, Owen had with the Raptors mm. rather than it's, it was it made that fresh as well the because every Jurassic Park film needs a, a Velociraptor scene yeah and at first you thought oh, wait this wasn't gonna have that and then they have the nice twist which was really well presented I was like wait. I think I know why they didn't tell us what it's made out of. It's part raptor. And I was like, yeah, well like, done. I thought that what was really good about it is how they were talking about, at one point they were like, every dinosaur in this bloody park is genetically spliced. Mm. It's not, none of these dinosaurs are actually dinosaurs. Yeah, they're, like, not, they're like, not original. Which they're goes they're back to the original, whole point yeah. where we're like, that's why they don't, the raptors don't actually look like raptors. Yeah. Um, True, and then what true. I then liked is how they had like a the beta or technically alpha what? raptor blue. Well, that's what with well, blue she's, she's the beta. No, she's the alpha. It's just no, no. She's the beta. Yeah, she's the beta. And it's supposed to be Owen. Is supposed to be the yeah. alpha. Yeah, that's that, that's. And what then I was he gets replaced by the Andromedas. Yeah. Oh, okay. The Andromedas. Yeah. The two. But yeah, they had they had genetics. They had genetics, but they had a new way of. Well, I can imagine in their marketing ploy when they were showing the raptors, they were like, look at this blue raptor. Mm. It has blue stripes I think it. it's just, that was just really to uh, have it sort of like that. So you, do you know which one is, is, that, is that one? Cause I mean, because like, she was like the first of the raptors that was probably put into that enclosure. Mm. Mm. So that's probably, because it's like, it's not, it's letter codes. It's, it would have been, it would have been Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Mark, because the first one got connected all the blue instead. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But as well, as well, another thing is like when people said that the again the motorcycle scene yeah. where the where they're using the Raptors, they the way they handled that was so well. It was all over. It was like wait no you can't use them. I was like all right fine we're desperate maybe we'll try. And then the way it was directed like the shots the 
the camera angles, the way it was done mm. was brilliant. And I, well, I felt, yeah, this was this was intense. Rather than it just being uh, really corny, which what it could have been. And I think some people might have still found it corny, but I well, found it extremely well done. I thought it was, for what it was, it was the way they did it. It wasn't just, the trailers did make it look like they were from the beginning, mm. just basically Chris Pratt's bitches that did whatever he asked them to do. Yeah. And it was really easy and all that stuff. And the way it comes about is that the only reason why they were running after the, they were even in unison mm. and running was because they had sniffed the trap of you. Yeah. And was sniffing out. Which was digged out by the Indominus yeah. Rex, which is again another really, really, really scary thing about that film. Because <laughs> it was the bit where um, Owen um, Gray said, how did you find it? Because she remember where they put it in. There was, a lot, there was a lot of moments like that. Like yeah. where I would say the... Um, there was like a there was like a video making fun of that as well. He had the uh, the CSI Miami moments mm. when someone would ask him, and then he would just go, "What was it? It depends. What type of dinosaur they cooked up in that lab?" Yeah. yeah. Walk it forward again. I think I think the film was good. It was really nicely executed film. It didn't go down the same route of, and it kind of went down the same route where animals get looked. The dinosaurs get loose and wreak havoc. Mm. But a lot of the time, like the, the things that caused the most damage to human life was not the, um, the whatever, um, the raptor rex and the raptors. It was actually mm. the pterodactyls. It did, the pterodactyls. The pterodactyls, full blown, just murdered a bunch of people. Mm. Yeah. Tried to, they killed the token British chick. Zara. Yeah, Claire's assistant. Yeah. Was it me or was it was were they like? She just seemed there to die. I mean, in terms of the terrorists was um, doing what they did, did it not seem like the Toyota? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it kind of seemed like he told them to do it. Yeah, because it felt like for it, for a second the traders made it seem like it could li- it could just could could, yeah. could communicate or like it, it all could, of it. It could, it could Bluetooth no. in some other. Way. I don't think it yeah. told it to do it. I think they were just. It was just the Raptors. Just, it was just the Raptors who could do that. With. They had just gotten free. Yeah. yeah they just had gone yeah. through and it's like, do we want now with the rebels? Yeah. yeah. Which was an, uh, leading, uh, leading up to that, that bit where the, what was it? The InGen people started coming in. Yeah. And he just... He just shoots. <laughs> the, the one shot of the guy oh, in the yeah, helicopter. Yeah, the so, hey, look at this. Look at my beard, bro. Look at my beard. <laughs> yeah, you, see my cool. beard? you see how big yeah. my beard is? Let me shoot this bird, my I think <laughs> look at my beard I'm a smile my beard is so big my beard. I'm hench and I'm bald but my beard is big yeah. cause I'm oh, you got big, all yeah. of that from that one I'm shot. sorry but just the shoulders hunched up he looked vex bird pow look now he's happy cause he's shot something what exactly do those guys do when they actually got there oh, they, they, were, much. they were there to die <laughs> they were there to die they were there to die and show Hoskins yeah, no, I was, yeah that was before the raptor scene that was right yeah, yeah. yeah. Indeed. Mm, and, then they, and then he got and then he got it they got murked. Then, no, but Hoskins had it worse because Blue just went in. Yep. yep she I did. mean, in, in my head, I'm like, why you got your hand in front of her? That's only what Chris Pratt can what? do. Put your hand down. Put, oh, God, yeah, your hand's gone. He got, <laughs> your hand's gone. He was getting cocky. He I know. Was that he could control them. Mm. He but believed he, that they were just like. He believed that they were what we thought they were in the trailers. Mm. That they yeah, were just. They were just straight up something. There was some bitches. I know, yeah. but it's like the fact. It's just that. It wasn't a case where he just got there. He'd been there for a while. No. Oh, Owen and Barry both told him like they they don't belong. They don't. I don't own them. Mm. They are animals. It's just a yeah, point exactly. of respect. Like what? Exactly. It just seemed like he had to learn the hard way, and that hard way means his blood getting splattered across yeah. the screen in a cinematic way. <laughs> you know, yeah. as as you know, the new family I of thought, four escaped. I thought the film. What rating was the film? Twelve. Um, would you, oh, it was twelve A. Yeah. It was twelve A. Yeah. I kind of would have preferred if it was a 15, but I knew it wasn't. I mean, yeah, it was never going to be a 15. Because, of, be because of what it was. I think 12 is fine. And I, I, think, I, I think it I think worked it had well. a decent amount of blood in it, but I also feel like there was a lot of, like, let's look away. Because it was a PG-13, yeah. actually, yeah. to be more precise. The PG-13, um, I think that's just America that have really had that. Yeah. Here's just 12A. 12A. Well, yeah. now 15A has become the thing. Is that really? Yeah, I saw a trailer that said 15 a I think maybe he did that because of the trailer. Hopefully but, that's um, but just moving on, I'd just talk about the end scene. Uh, no, if I can, if I can just okay, all right, all right, um, okay. For one, they had very few annoying human characters. That no, was just there to be annoying. Everything, I the kid, what, like the characters, I, I liked the kid them a lot. Was really annoying. Who? Yeah. 
the little kid. I th- he was rightfully a little bit cry at times. No, no, no. no. Yeah, yeah, he was kid. right. He was rightfully. But yeah. he can I point out? I said this to you in the cinema. He is the kid from my memory. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't realize it until he started talking and doing stuff. Ty Simpkins, he was in Iron Man 3. He's going to be a big actor one day. He I'll call it. You heard it here first. No, even like, it just seems like he's already been given like the the um, Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. blessings. And once like, he's like, okay, cool. Mm. Iron Man said you're okay. Let's make you a movie star. <laughs> you know, but now, he, you can tell he's a, he's he's good. Like, I don't you, know. You, you can tell a kid actor who's going to make but it. To be honest, I, for me, my most annoying character, it wasn't actually, it wasn't um, the, the kid's mother, the parents, it wasn't the parents. Mm. It was actually the older brother. Zach. Oh, I, yeah, yeah. I wanted to slap him so hard. I mean, why are you trying to do some fake bullshit vampire brooding thing? Let me just stare at some girl. <laughs> like, when, 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 when Grove points out, it's like, what are you going to do? Just stare at them until they like you? I'm like, thank you. I was like, yeah, that was You should have yeah. added in a slap as well. Because to be honest, I don't like the way you're at. I mean, I understand you're meant to be some cold brooding, like, older brother, but dude. Your girlfriend just kissed you goodbye. Stop being a scumbag. One. Yeah. Two. Oh, yeah. What do you think yeah. the Sarah's going to do? They're not going to like that. When she was like, I love you. And he was like, okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I got to go. It's like, <laughs> everyone in the everyone in was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. He said the wrong three words. And cool. two more things about the humans that I did like. Um, Larry or Lowry, as it's actually spelled, which is really weird because I always assume it was just L-A-R-Y. Um, Jake Johnson. The geeky guy with the um with the Jurassic Park kind of T-shirt. Yeah, I I loved his scene just at the end when he tried to kiss. Uh, oh, amazing! <laughs> when you know yeah. he tried to kiss Vivian, that was just like I, gotta say, I have a boyfriend. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You tried <laughs> stiff up a lip. You tried. No, it was it was and not that's like the, the the actual like the characters in this man. They were they were they were nice, and I didn't find any of them to be irritating or yeah. unnecessary. In Except for the brother. Well, even him to a certain extent, he was annoying for a while. But well, then, but then when when the shit hits the fan, right? He he, hits the he, shit. he oh, oh, I don't really know how that works. I mean, like I mean, like fan as in like the dinosaurs completely chopping and murking people, and people. Uh, shit as okay, in all right, all right, all right. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. But anyway, just work with me just here. When, that, when when things get uh, crazy, um, he does step up as he the does. older brother, and he does he does start um, showing some emotional. Well, his whole point of his character is he was basically like little brother wants to go to Jurassic World see all the dinosaurs because he's a bit of a dinosaur nerd your parents were going for a rough divorce didn't really want to have to take the kid there mm. make the older brother do it older brother was kind of didn't want to go wanted to do other things he's too old for dinosaurs because they live in a world where that's just yeah. normal to them Yeah, and he just he was just stereotypical like I'd rather be either with my girlfriend with or my girlfriend or, or hitting on girls yeah and you can see, like, even when they got to the thing, the thing I think he was look, checking out the, the British tour British tour lady as well. If I can, um, um, one thing that should have possibly been a product placement was um, Claire, right? The redhead. I don't know what her shoes were made of, but she was wearing heels and sprinting in heels. <laughs> and you know what? I actually like that for once it didn't throw in that cliche where she's running and heel breaks. Hmm. For some reason, them things are made of adamantium because you run into a park, <laughs> you run in down mountainside, and they're completely fine. Her character progression was brilliant. Her character progression was nice. I mean, it did seem like that they were going in that direction just from the, just from the way they made her seem yeah. so vacant at the beginning yeah. where she didn't even remember what the ages were. Mm. Even but, when Owen's like, you don't even remember how old your car is. Yeah, your but that's, see, that's, that's a delicate um, progression to, to handle, and they did it really yeah. well. I mean, that's really the well. thing that they had to make it, they, they almost okay. seemed to make it really overt at the beginning that she didn't know what the ages were. Yeah. You say product placement, I noticed one go on, go on. late. No, there was a blatant product Hit placement, me. Samsung. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Samsung yeah, Innovation, Innovation Center. I didn't even pop There was a, literally on the wall of the place. <laughs> so honest, I, when they first I did, in, I you know like, what I really clocked on to was uh, when um, Vivian approaches, um, not Vivian, when Claire approaches Owen uh, for the first time, he's just outside looking all cool, fixing his bike, and it's like slow motion. Let me just drink from my bottle of Coke. Yes. Well, it was weird. I was drinking Pepsi at the same time. I felt it was weird. Mm. <laughs> like li- literally, as he sipped, I sipped. It's like I, I counter your product placement with my own. <laughs> just raise the glass at him. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. um, I would say uh, really Justin. quickly though, really quickly, because um, we are about to wrap up. But she we did, should. She, she did actually triple tap the um, the dinosaur. Yeah, no, she was awesome. Like that—that that was, I think, another sensible thing that they made her do. One, yeah. she wasn't a chicken. Two, she knows how to run. Three, not that the panicky shooting and oh my god, I just no, no, boom, 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 yeah, boom. Okay, could, the dead, boom. She could have easily been the the very like 
um, stereotypical damsel in distress. Yeah, and, it, and well, she wasn't, and they gave that's us the yeah, yeah. Kind of thing, which is what modern films should do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But anyway, now for like the third time, let's move on to the final thing we need to talk about because we do need to talk about is the last thing to really happen the last 15 minutes of the film oh, the last 15 which minutes is before. I think I saw it coming where it was going to be the T-Rex versus the Adonis mm. and it was I don't like because we did say that it was slightly corny mm. but it was just the right level of corny like I would not I would not be happy if it didn't happen it was I feel like the whole film was throwing back to things let that them find in, in the first previous, one no just in the previous ones even the fact that the like in Jurassic Park three, Spinosaurus was Jurassic. Well, versus T Rex. T Rex. It was very similar. Ah, but I see that was a great thing. Where in the third one, yeah. the whole point of that that bit was to show the Spinosaurus is stronger and bigger, and therefore he's the new face, which didn't work. Yeah. Which failed completely. But this was like no. I'm the T-Rex. I'm, I'm the, the face. I'm the real OG. Exactly. I was here before you got here, son. And yeah. then, yeah. And it was you just might, really you, You're my like children. You know, there was one point though when, when she was getting the T-Rex out when I thought, at first it's like, yeah, this is going to be really awesome. And it's like, wait, you're getting really close to the T-Rex here. Maybe you want to start running. Yeah. And then she started my, running in her heels. Yeah, again. Exactly, yeah. yeah, my whole thing about it was there got to this point where they were kind of like, the raptors could kind of kind of were like mutual respect mm. and then I was kind of like no she's not she's not going to go to a T-Rex pen that they've not done any then, training and with and, and then go it. and put a hand up to it's it and be easy, like whoa easy. whoa stop there yeah it was not going to happen that wasn't going to happen <laughs> we, we've, it, got, it, we've got stuff to do it, now it's not how to train your dragon it doesn't yeah. work like that no, it was, so. was going to be more like um, Meet the Robinsons the, that, that T-Rex oh yeah where he's, where he's explaining why he can't get the little kids yeah. Yeah. The, the bit at the end was just when like T-Rex the raptor just have your Domus Rex is back up against the pool oh man that and was it's so just like, awesome it just seemed like a, a bit of wrestling like oh my god he's here oh my god oh god no bro <laughs> then he's around the neck and he's down oh god he's taking him in for a slam he's in the water oh my god I thought like that was, the, that was a really good scene that, that bit was really good it was very much like this is a summer block, blockbuster, so we're going to put hmm. th- this fight scene in it. I thought that that was like the moment that we needed to like signify the whole reasoning for having the Mosasaurus in it. Because hmm. yeah. like, well, kinda, it didn't like, do much. Besides it being Shamu, and I thought that when they dropped the British woman in the lake, that she was just going to get gobbled up straight away. Oh, but that was gruesome. Yeah. That the was that gruesome. You, the thing is, though, you didn't actually see any blood. At all, yeah. It was just. Like, it was just oh, the constant screaming. She was basically, she was basically just getting dipped in the water. Like she was being marinated. Oh, just man, so she was yeah. just wet enough. Most like, you know what? I'm taking you and the bird. Safe. No, I'm done. It was really well done shot, though. It was that, very well that, done. Because it, it was, it was just one shot. It was, wasn't it? It, was, it was, it was very frantic. Extremely frantic. You could almost feel her panic. Yeah, there. we were literally sitting there, just completely. But at the, uh, just, but at the oh same time, God. At the same time, it's like yeah, I'm so sorry, you about to die. <laughs> I don't know what you're calling your husband about earlier, but that doesn't <laughs> matter now. You about to die. You about to die. But no one's going to pass yeah. you because you were literally a very unmemorable character. So yeah. I'm Take that sorry. Morgana from Merlin. Oh, shit, that's what she is. <laughs> the whole film. I was going, that's I know that face, but I don't know what you're from. <laughs> yeah. I if thought I, she was like from EastEnders or something. If I could point out one really, really weird thing is that this film at the very beginning kind of had a weird Iron Man 3 feel. Yeah, Christmas. Yeah, I didn't yeah, get it. You know what? That was thrown away very, very fast. Cool. That's what I'm saying. Like, it was, it was that weird. Because it was the same with Iron Man. Because it was like, Christmas talk at the beginning. Yeah. Then it was like, one flash when um you see Iron Man like, having some downtime with the, with, Ty, with Ty Simpkins again. Yeah. Where you see Christmas tree. And you see Krupp, um, um, um second to president, what's his name? Vice yeah. President, yeah. him with Christmas tree, and then yeah. at the end, Merry Christmas when you said the pepper no, pots. Just... And that's just like, why are you? Why? why? Well, the why? reason is because then they can market them as um, the top, as top grossing Christmas films of all time. I know, even though they're not June and July. Even though they're not made <laughs> in Christmas. Christmas. I mind in even July. Not made in I just because I don't really think that was a really big theme. No, it was I, just, know, I think it was just the f- just. I know, the but the thing is that like the film would have been almost exactly the same if you hadn't even mentioned it. But suddenly that they're mentioning like even hinting at Christmas well, like you, you know what you know what it could have been you know it could have been it could have just been 
they they when they filmed that bit, they were the budget was running out, so it was like, you know what, just really quickly, let's just film this bit in order some random airport. Yeah, and it must be Christmas at the time. Yeah, at no <laughs> point did anyone mention Christmas. Yeah. Or yeah, any of the parents the be like, this is your Christmas present. It was just like a random I backing thought, track. It's yeah, like, why would when, you play that? I thought when they were getting on the plane and mum was going to be like, Merry Christmas. Yeah. We're getting a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that Have fun running for your problems. It, I like, I like like any film, the all it takes for a, for a couple to get back together is children almost being eaten by dinosaurs <laughs> yeah. if, you're, if you're ever having marriage problems send them to Jurassic World uh, funny Imminent enough danger. funny enough and if we remember in the third one yeah. same thing yeah. <laughs> same thing cough cough pattern cough, literally cough. the same thing and they ended up having to go and get the, get the kid back the, like, the, the story was good a nice story but it knew what it was yeah it was, this, it was very aware of itself this film this mm. film understood what it was doing and how it was going to be perceived and it just it just did it, it from what I can see it did everything right mm. I can't I can't fault it really mm. even like when things people say oh it's just corny yeah, it's like this is it, need, it kind of needs to be a bit corny because yeah. it's drastic we need, we need that 90s corn bar. yeah man I think, I think it was it's own movie that wasn't trying to be something special well, the same with that Mad Max one. IGN reviewed it and I, the thing between the, thing, the difference between Mad Max and this is that Mad Max. Actually, no, both of them can stand yeah. alone on their yeah, own. They're, they're, both they're, not, they're not franchise rebuilding. Yeah. Yeah. They're just making films. Yeah, exactly. And that within would happen the, to be related. Of, I guess, well, they happen to be related. Trilogies. But like both films, you could take it as yeah. there doesn't need to the, be There doesn't one. need to be, but they've, they've done their own thing well using the previous trilogy's law, mm. which is very extremely well done. Which well, is what, well. the complete opposite of what Terminator looks like it's doing it's just oh, re-franchising God. the whole thing Mad Max and Jurassic World I liked Avengers I thought Avengers was good but I think Avengers and I'm probably it's, it's not some film it's going to get I'm going to get hate for it Avengers will it was, was a great film at the time but it's forgettable in the long grand scheme of things hmm. it's a mid I think it's a, what we're going to remember in, when yeah, Avengers yeah. comes around is Infinity War that's what we're going to remember. You're we're all going to forget about Age of Ultron. Well, you know what? Age of Ultron is that, oh, that awkward... Uh, it's middle the ground. middle child. Yeah. But yeah, I would say... It's the well, you know, that's probably one. something to, to talk about once in Finn Wars. It's the Iron Man 2 of them thing. Yeah. Well, ah, I wouldn't go that far. No. Iron Man 2. Sure, <laughs> <laughs> that's sorry, man. That's sorry. But all right, I'll, yeah. I'll so I guess just to wrap up. Um, overall thoughts? Last last comments? Good, good, good film. Still stick with my 8 out of 10 that I said at the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, would you give it a rating? Um, I don't know if I can really because usually when people give ratings, they like they just look at it. Um, they look at it as just overall, it's just oh, it's just a film. Uh, they they open up it, but I can't be with this. I waited so long for this. Mm. I I loved Jurassic Park when I was little. Alright, give it um, a verbal summation. No rating. A verbal summation. Freaking loved it. I'll say that. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead and loud after. Um. Yeah, I'll give it um eight Chris Pratt out of ten. Eight, out of eight, ten. Cr- eight beefcake Chris Pratt's out of ten. <laughs> Should be our rating system, and then we give him like well, maybe not. Parks and Rex Chris Browns is like really bad ones. <laughs> I'll, I'll give it eight Claire high heels out of ten. Those, 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 <laughs> I, 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 Unbreakable. I don't mean I don't mean to sound weird, but like I just I'm trying to hard to fathom how hard. I, I find it quite disturbing how much that you've taken from this film. It's that those girls, heels. girls need to know where to buy those heels. <laughs> no, no, that, that, that's what I'm saying. Because you, you know, what, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> They, they're, they're strong and because of that we didn't get any annoying oh my god they fell so pick me up and what they look like I can't they were mostly out of shot I think there was one scene was sorry for any I have a good memory shut up okay. there, was, there was one scene in the film and that's all I took from the whole film and it's quite bad is that for her character was the moment in which she was just like ready to go which was basically I'm going to take this shirt off tie it around display that I have bosoms <laughs> oh no but I just the middle because yeah. I was like what are you doing what, yeah, what, what, what does that what mean was that? Chris Pratt kind what of looked like the whole audience and kind of went oh there is something underneath there oh no I think no, even that, I think it was just like what, what, what are you doing did that, what did that help <laughs> but no I really liked that, that was, what, like, was that was that your second form yeah because <laughs> like, it wasn't her even shirt, her final her shirt, form. Her shirt, her, shirt, her shirt came off at the last bit. How, she right. had her overshirt came how, off. Her power level just, went up. Mm. It her, was her yeah. final form was with the um, now flare. not to not to be sound like pervy guys. That's not how we're gonna end it. That's it's not just how one, we're gonna end it. It was a good thing. film. It was a good film. Really enjoyed it. Then he was a fabulous. <laughs>
Those heels were fabulous. Okay, and so Chris Pratt is increasingly human. more my favourite leading man in Hollywood. I, I want him in every film he ever. Won, I don't care where. Well, he's yeah. only been in like two films. And they've been amazing. And he's done his stuff wrong. He's got All that hero charisma. All he needs is Jones and he can just complete I'd the be, yeah, I'd be so happy with that. That will be his true test. Put him in Star Wars. Yeah, it's going to be oh. probably in Star Wars. <laughs> just everything George Lucas right, look, owned. Look. We can swap, we can agree to swap out Harrison Ford for Chris Pratt, okay? Wait, 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 I never said anything about swapping anyone for anyone. That's the only thing I will accept. Well, he could do a quite good job. But anyway, 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 we're not here to be talking about Chris Pratt. We need to end this. We need to end this now. Okay, so if you guys remember, we did have a um, weird iconic outro, which was literally anything. (laughs) Anything. Literally anything, but... um, so yeah, uh, we will not. Anyone makes anyone just make whatever sound they want to make or any phrase they want to make after I finish the outro, which was, which is, sorry, which is, which was, um, yeah. So that concludes uh, Mike Masher for this evening. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, like, share, whatever you don't need to, but we do appreciate it. And that's uh, that's a wrap. Clever girl. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs>